Hi there, welcome back to another video. My name is Monica of Millie and Monica, and I am a full-time clothing reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. Today's video is going to be completely unedited. This is it. It is being uploaded from my phone onto YouTube, and I'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. So, if you're new here, I sell clothing that I find at thrift stores as my full-time job, and I do have a really fun thrift haul for you today. I found probably the best find I have yet to come across, and so I'm really, really excited to share that with you. But I also want to fill you in a little bit on what's been going on with my channel, why I've been so absent, and talk a little bit about my business, and of course a little bit of personal because when you work for yourself, the personal and business, they really get intermingled a lot. So let's talk about why I'm actually uploading this video without editing. And it's simply because I've been having computer issues for a while and they've been progressively getting worse to the point where I really couldn't even edit my last video, which it's been a while since I uploaded that. But basically it was starting to overheat, getting really hot, and the software was shutting down in the middle of editing and it was really hard to even edit a very short video, um, let alone a longer video, especially one like the What Sold. Those require a lot of editing and so I just haven't been able to do anything like that for quite a while. And because of everything that's been happening, it was really hard to even get a hold of a technician to make an appointment. And so I finally got it in yesterday and they weren't able to really fully diagnose it and figure out what was wrong with it. So it is being sent off to Tennessee um, and it's definitely going to be a few weeks before I have it back. And at that point, I don't even know if I'll get it back fixed. So for a while, as I continue to try to make videos, they are going to be filmed and uploaded raw, unedited. So bear with me. I am going to try not to say um too much. And I'm also going to not stumble over my words too much, which can definitely happen when you're trying to get it right the first time. I also won't have any of those fancy things flying into the screen. I won't be able to edit text, anything like that. Uh, at some point, if I get real savvy, I might see if there's some editing apps on my phone where maybe I can cut and splice things, but I really don't know how that's going to go. It's been well over a year since I've tried an editing app on my phone and in the past they have not worked well for me. So if you have any recommendations, I do have an Android, uh, please let me know in the comments down below, but I would really appreciate those subscribes and likes to these videos because they are a little bit trickier. But, you know, this is a business, you know, I guess issue because it is important to have uh, lots of tools, especially when you work online for your business. And so this has kind of definitely been a setback because YouTube, you know, does generate me some sort of income and I've been pretty absent uh, for multiple reasons. Some personal, June was more personal reasons. I decided to be a little bit more absent. And then I realized that my computer just wasn't going to function and allow me to come back to YouTube the way I really wanted to. So that's a business setback, but there's also been some personal setbacks and I'm not going to go fully into them, but it's been, it's been a rough few months, needless to say. Uh, just like having business setbacks, you know, as a homeowner, there's things that go wrong, um, having vehicles things go wrong and we're in a really weird time in the world right now where just there's a lot of stuff happening and I'm sure many of you are feeling it. You know exactly what I'm talking about and maybe you've had many of your own setbacks in the past few months and it can just be a really big downer and bummer and it's been hard for me to kind of get out of that funk. But I definitely am, am trying, I'm trying to see the silver lining. I am trying to, you know, find things, little things that bring me joy. And so after dropping my computer off at the repair shop yesterday, I was near a thrift store I don't normally go to. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stop in. I've had good luck here before. Let me just see what I can find. I picked up 11 items. I spent $60. Um, and I got some really fun stuff and I, I definitely got something that I am over the moon excited about. Uh, I also picked up this dress. So this is a Lou the Row. I think it's the Maria Maxi. I picked this up 
for another reason that I'll probably talk about in just a moment. But I picked this up for myself because I was looking for some longer maxi type dresses. So this was the only maxi I found that would actually work for me. But I'm excited. It's, it's pretty flowy and breezy and comfortable. And when you're just working around your house, it's pretty great. So I will be keeping this. So I have 10 items that I will be reselling. Uh, a bunch of these items still have the tags on them. I have not removed the tags yet because I am just going through it now. And, you know, they'll be steamed, they'll be all of that. But the tag price doesn't really correlate with the overall price that I paid because a couple of items were on sale. And then I also had a coupon for 20% off. But I'm not going to even, like, hold out on you. I want to show you this amazing pair of shoes which I didn't even set on the top for some silly, silly reason. But I found a pair, first time finding these ever in the wild, a pair of Rothy's. And I'm just holding them backwards. Again, unedited. This is what you get, a pair of Rothy's. Now, these are a rare, I guess, retired color. And they're the, they're more of a hot pink. So when I originally found them, the color in the thrift store, I thought they were red. But they're actually hot pink. And they don't really have much wear and, you know, there's really not much discoloration. They were $15, but I did have that 20% coupon, 20% um, off coupon. And so I will need to get that off the bottom, but overall they look great and they have the size in them. They are a nine and a half, uh, which I believe, I can't remember. I'll have to do my research again because it's been a while since I had my Rothy's. They either run like a half size small or a full size small. So they're probably better for a eight and a half, nine if you've never worn Rothy's before. So I have sold a pair of Rothy's in the past, but they were my personal Rothy's and I had purchased them for myself from Mercari and I wore them a few times and I just wasn't a huge fan. Not because of the shoe themselves. I did find them to be very comfortable. I had, I'm just not really a flats person. Like, I don't really enjoy wearing flats. I love a good chunky heel. And so personally, I just wasn't finding that I was wearing them enough to justify keeping something that was worth a good amount of money. So I did resell the pair that I purchased for myself. That's the only reason I've sold a pair of Rothy's before. So I am over the moon about these because they're a rarer color, a retired color. Some of the comps on these are fantastic. I have seen comps ranging, just mind you, these are ranging comps from 300 down to 30, which obviously the, the $30 one, who knows what was happening there, but there are several comps in the $200 range. So I'm very excited about this and I think they'll do well. Uh, this is definitely a first and I definitely needed, this was like a win for me. If you're ever having just like moments where like everything possible is like breaking, everything is like costing tons of money. Um, that's been pretty much the past few months for me. And, uh, to top it all off on the 4th of July, um, you know, it was really hot and we wanted to do something fun, something we'd never done before. Well, I had never done before. And so we, and a bunch of friends, floated down a local river and it turns out that the bugs in the water do not like me or my skin doesn't like them or whatever and I developed a immediately severe allergic reaction type rash to whatever bugs were in the water. No one else did, just me. And it's not uncommon. I guess it's something that happens. They're the type of bugs that kind of fester in the humidity and the heat here in Minnesota and apparently I just don't react well. So the reason I was looking for longer dresses is because it's covering my legs. Um, I do have a couple spots in my arms and my face even, uh, which that seems to be healing well, but it is, it's still uncomfortable. It's very, um, not sightly. And if you've ever had like a reaction or a reaction type rash, you know that it's just miserable. It's itchy. And then you are on medications. Well, personally, I'm on medications, um, several that are just no one personally, like, personally, I shouldn't say no one. I don't like being on medication. I don't like being on antibiotics and all the stuff that they give you to like, try to calm down the symptoms. So this was like a major win for me. It just made me feel 
like the universe wasn't completely against me, that I had um, some sort of good juju left and that everything was going to be okay. As silly as that sounds, uh, it really just made me feel so much better. So don't feel any way jealous because trust me, I've got enough uh, other things happening in my life that I just needed, I just needed something good. But I did get some other good stuff, some other pieces that I'm like, really excited about. And so this is a brand that I've only found a couple times, to be real honest. But it's Alice and Olivia. Now, some resellers really love this brand and some really hate it. And it's typically, I think, sold at um, Anthropology, And it is new with tags. It's the Ophelia dress. Now, again, comps on this range greatly. Like, there'll be $20 comps and then $300 comps. You know, I am hoping for maybe around that $100 for this. So it is the purple lacy Ophelia dress, and it's just gorgeous. This is just so beautiful, and it's very well made. The hem here is heavy so that it kind of lays down nicely and has a back zipper. And I also just wanted to check the size because I don't know if I really looked. It's a size 10, which is just such a great size. This would be great for a wedding or any other, like, cocktail um, event. And then I did find another Alice and Olivia piece. So again, I, I definitely think the thrift gods were looking out for me and knew that I needed a win this day, as silly as that sounds, but uh, it was what I needed. So here's another Alice and Olivia piece. It's a size large, and this is a top. Now, I couldn't, in my quick search, I didn't find this exact top, but Tops by Alice and Olivia can actually do quite well, so I'm going to hope for maybe that $40 to $50 on this. It's kind of a semi-crop, I don't know if you can tell, and short sleeves, it's kind of holy, but it's also got this like mesh lining, so the holes don't go all the way through, which is really nice. If you by chance have seen this particular style and know the style name, definitely leave that down below, that'd be very helpful. Um, and I found a few really amazing vintage pieces, which just always makes me incredibly happy. This piece is gorgeous. I do believe it's silk. Now, if you've watched any of the vintage videos that I've done, especially with Carnet Creative, um, my friend Carrie, she has a lot of great tips, especially when it comes to zippers. So this is a metal zipper, which is really exciting to find And here. You can really see the metal here. But this piece, I'm going to have to do measurements. I'm guessing maybe a medium, but it is union made. So in here, I almost thought that maybe it was handmade, but the union label is, it's hidden in here, but it's in here. And that's super exciting. And I'm not going to even be able to find it now. The hem is, it's pretty good condition, but it might be starting to kind of unravel. Oh, here it is. So here's the union tag. So I'll be able to look up this union tag and get a better idea of the actual date on this one. And it does have a lining. It's just gorgeous. It's just a nice um, little wiggle dress. And I do believe it's silk. Like I said, I think, I think that it is. So uh, hopefully I can get a better idea on the size of this when I get it listed. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And on a similar note, this one was... It's very similar. Again, that metal zipper. Uh, it, the fabric, though, I would definitely say it's more of maybe a poly. It feels nice. It does have a little bit of stretch to it. But it's just gorgeous floral dress. And I would say this is probably more like a large, extra large, just by the looks of it. But I will add measurements and compare against size charts. There's a little bit of discoloration in here, but overall just beautiful. And it's nice, lightweight, but still has... Um, you know, just some kind of movement to it. So there is though, unfortunately, and I just noticed this, I think it'll be fine. There is like some little holes right in here, which I totally missed. But the thing is with vintage, I still list vintage pieces that are flawed because a lot of times if you're a vintage buyer, you come to expect certain flaws and there is a little bit of wear at the seam here. So maybe I can go in and fix it. So this one might not be listed right away, which is unfortunate, but it'll get added to my needs fixing pile. This one very well though could be handmade because I wasn't finding any tags and just the way some of the seams are, it, it's possible, but it might need a little love first. So, but still just a fun print and a great style. This is a soft surroundings piece and I do like picking up soft surroundings. So 
uh, this is a size extra large, especially when it's an extra large, but this is just a really beautiful, like tunic, open lace, crocheted, I don't know, all of those keywords, I guess, but it's a little bit longer and you could definitely layer this as kind of like a lagging look, or it could be like a beach cover up. So many things could be happening with this and it's just beautiful. I really do like finding soft surroundings. And this, I'm thinking, is supposed to be more like a nightgown, but it definitely reminds me of uh, something that you could just layer. It's super flowy, and I believe it was vintage. I think it's like, you know, late 90s Y2K vintage, like not super vintage. But yeah, it's definitely, this is definitely an older label um, and a brand that I've seen on older vintage pieces. But yeah, it's just kind of a prairie style. It's longer, almost maxi length. I know the camera situation and working with new settings. So we'll see. Uh, I love these little floral details and it has a lower back. I think this would be so cute over a swimsuit at the beach, but also to just layer over a white tee. I think that's an adorable look that's happening right now with some chunky sandals and I just love it. So I believe it was a size medium, but it def it's a size large, but I definitely think it would fit a variety of sizes depending on how you want to wear it. And this is one of my favorite pieces. I'm loving this style right now. So this is like 90s, again, like Y2K, Laura Ashley, which I don't find Laura Ashley that often. This is like uh, an older like label brand that you should definitely could be on the lookout for. Um, sometimes a lot of the brands just don't matter, but Laura Ashley is a good one. And I love the floral on this. It's a little sheer, like a slip under it would probably be great, but it's just a mini floral dress, super cute, and love this style. It's definitely one of my favorites. So I was excited about that, and I believe it's a size 10. And now I have a couple more pieces. Uh, these I did buy kind of for myself, so but they don't fit. So it's Top Shop. They are just a loafer, a black leather loafer, and they're just they're in good condition. They're cute and. I thought, okay, why not? But a little too tight on me. And then this pair I am really, really tempted to keep, at least for a little bit, because as I mentioned in the beginning, I am totally about a chunky heel, and these actually look really cute with the dress I'm wearing right now. So these are Steve Madden. They're suede leather, like platform espadrille. I'm probably going to wear these a couple times before I list them. I'm not going to lie. Just because I have a couple events coming up, and with the fact that I'm wearing these longer dresses right now, I definitely could use a little lift. So these are six and a half and typically I'm a seven. And so it's just like brands just vary. And of course shoes vary, but I actually, these fit me quite well. So that's kind of what's happening. That's my haul. I was just over the moon to find these pieces. It was just good to be out and doing something to be real honest. And um, I hope that wherever you are currently with everything that's happening, I hope that you're in a good space and I hope that you're finding great stuff if your thrift stores are opening. And as always, thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoyed this raw, unedited version of my channel, of me, and uh, I will definitely be seeing you next time.